Hey everybody, testing out audio and stuff. Apparently this chat box wants to fight us. So you know the deal. We're trying to get the chat box working. And Jimbo, hi Jimbo, say hi. You don't wanna say hi now? Okay, well he'll say hi later. Um, we're trying to get the chat box working and checking the audio. Let me know how it sound. And I'll be on in like uh, just a couple of seconds. We have a much different live stream today. Way chiller. Uh, we're on a, we're just chilling on a couch and crocheting a dragon. You'll get the gist in just a second. Um, I hope you like it though. I'll be on in just a moment. But yeah, let me know how I sound. Okay, be on soon. Bye. Jimbo, come here. Do you want to do my? Do you want to do the intro with me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Sit with me. Be chill right here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let me know how I look and sound and all that stuff. Today, we are uh, doing a much more chill live stream because you know what? I needed a chill time, and I just thought you know it started raining here. Uh, like 30 minutes before the stream started and I was like wow how perfect how perfect it, that was so yeah we're gonna be chilling with Jimbo maybe we'll see he's he's just got a huge burst of energy but you know what he's got his cat cam over there so eventually maybe he'll be right there eventually maybe but we'll see I'm glitching a bit I'm glitching a bit, says Misty Window. Is that the case for everybody, or is it just Misty Window? I'm gonna look at it on my end. It looks pretty good to me on my end. It may be a little glitchy, but not that bad on my end. I need to update the website because it says that you have live streams on Sunday. Oh, yep, it does. You're right, Becky. Thank you for the heads up there. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'm glitching, no glitch on blinks. Okay, well, let me know if things uh, get a little awry. But yeah, today we are gonna do a pretty chill stream where we're gonna be crushing a dragon uh, and just like kinda, just kinda, kinda playing it cool. Um, this is gonna be a two part live stream. We're gonna do part one today where we're gonna make all the legs and the hopefully the wings and maybe the teeth and the the spine along the back but we probably won't finish it today we'll probably finish it next week doing the same kind of thing just kind of keeping it chill kind of keeping it cool um, I won't be going through the crochet pattern in this video but it's totally available right here if you want to get it it's at clubcrochet.com slash dragon I put a link in the description of this video as well uh, and we have kits available uh, and well, let, let, you know what, let's talk about what you're gonna need if you wanna crochet along with me. You don't have to, you can crochet whatever you want and just hang out with me if you want. Um, but, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Akiri, <laughs> Akari, or Akiri, Akari. Akari is going all snail already, which is great. 
Um, if you want to crochet along with me, you'll need the following materials. I'm using all blanket yarn, not worsted weight cotton. Today we're making a giant dragon, so we're going to be using giant blanket yarn today. You can see how big. It's a, it's a thick yarn. It's big. It's good stuff. Big good stuff. So we're going to be making a purple dragon. You're going to need uh, two different colors and then a white. So I'm going to be using uh, a lighter purple and then a darker purple. I'm not sure which is going to be the body and which is not. You know what? Let's do a vote on that actually right now. Let me put the vote in the chat. So you can choose if you want what? Let's say what purple will be our main color. We're going to go with either rich or let's go the dark purple or light purple. My vote is for dark, but you know what? It's up to you. If you want to if you want to do dark purple, we totally can. So you go ahead, uh, put your vote in the chat right now. Oh, it's such a bummer that this chat box is just so finicky. It's like the built-in chat box and man, oh man, is it never work for me. Let's hit done there. Let's see if I can fix this. Done there. Does that work? Well, we'll find out. Um, and Jimbo is running all around town, so he'll be he'll be in his spot. I'm sure he'll be in his spot eventually. Okay, okay. So those are the colors of yarn that you need. Uh, looks like dark purple is winning by a pretty good margin right now, which is great. Um, you'll need a crochet hook, of course. I've got a few different size crochet hooks because I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna like the most because I I haven't really used this uh, blanket yarn too often so i don't really know you know which one's going to work the best it suggests to use an eight millimeter crochet hook so we might use this nice cool blue this looks like a magic wand uh eight millimeter hook but i also have my j uh six millimeter and a 10 millimeter and a nine millimeter so we have options so we might try one of those um, you'll need a pair of scissors, some stuffing, of course. You'll need a darning needle. Uh, obviously, you're gonna want to use a pretty thick darning needle for this, since this project's gonna be using yarn that's pretty thick. Uh, and then I'm gonna be using wire today for the wings. So we're gonna put this in the wings so that the wings and the legs and the arms are all poseable. Uh, we'll also end up putting it in the neck and the tail, but we'll be doing that next live stream. So a little bit of wire if you want to do that. Uh, which means you probably want pliers as well so you can bend the wire. Uh, and then next week we'll need eyes. I have no idea what size eyes we're gonna use. I'm gonna test that out over the weekend and then probably go get eyes for this because I don't know, I only have up to a certain size. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you can totally use a multicolor yarn L. Like that would be dope. That would be way, way cool. Oh, dude, Raging Panda, thank you for joining the stream. And hello to the chat, by the way. Okay, so one, uh, uh, hi, Jim. You see Jimbo there attacking the yarn? What are you doing? We need this. Ah, dork. Um, all right, uh, um, some other things before we get going as Jimbo messes our whole system up here. Uh, if you like what's going on here and you'd like to help support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The first easy, cheap way, like this video down below, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, I don't know how you found this video, but thank you for watching, and I would like it if you subscribed, Jimbo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, are you gonna knock down the camera now too? Yeah, he's messing with the cat cam. Uh, the cat do be attacking the yarn. That's, that's the way cats, this cat at least, do be. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, if you get, if this video gets enough likes, we're looking for 250 likes, we will do another giveaway next live stream because we're doing a giveaway in this live stream. I was supposed to do it last live stream, but I didn't. So we're doing a giveaway in this live stream. We're actually doing two giveaways. Um, you can find links to them in the description. You basically need to uh, comment on a 
post that I did on the community channel on YouTube or on my Instagram post. I'm doing a giveaway on both spots right now. Uh, we're gonna choose a winner at the end of the live stream to win a crochet kit that I wound for one of the tulips that we designed last live stream and we're looking for testers right now. So. If you can get this video to 250 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream and we will be uh, announcing the winners to that at the end of this live stream. So uh, don't forget to remind me because high likelihood I will forget. Um, the other stuff, the cat is 100% gonna steal the yarn. He is a nuisance right now. You know, he goes through waves of being a brat and sometimes he's not a brat, uh, but I love him all the time, so it's okay. Um, if you want to help support monetarily, well, now that's a different story. You can help support monetarily the best way possible with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones every single month. Uh, next week, I believe next week, maybe the week after, we're going to be doing Baby Dragons uh, as a new pattern. I just finished recording it uh, yesterday and editing it yesterday, so I got really uh, a little ahead of schedule, which I'm really proud of uh, with that. So new patterns coming up there. Uh, but yeah, memberships start at only $5 a month. You can even get a free trial and it's just a really good way to support the channel. If you do become a new member, you will be, uh, your name will come up right here. And um, yeah, it's just a really good way to support the channel. Another great way to support the channel is by purchasing merch and kits in the store. Uh, we don't have too many kits right now, but we do have more kits coming soon. And uh, the last way is with a tip. If you'd like to support uh, monetarily by tipping, oh, hey, the chat's working. That's cool. Uh, you can tip by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. And if you tip, I'm gonna add something to the tip cam, the background right there, which is actually way over there. So I'm gonna have to get up and go do that. Uh, if you tip for, actually, let's just go ahead and switch this. You're not gonna be able to hear me as I go put this stuff up there, but thank you so much to Cooper. You rock, tipping already, $10. $10 gets you added to the magical tree that is not really there yet, but we're adding things to add to the tree once my dad finishes making it. Uh, he's making it out of metal. It's gonna be super cool. Um, but yeah, let's go add something for Cooper real quick, and then uh, let's get hooking. Sound like a plan? Okay, I'll bow down to the snail master uh, also while while we're doing this tip thing. Okay, let's go add something for Cooper real quick. Again, I don't think you're gonna be able to hear me, but maybe you will, I'll yell. Switch cam. All right. That looks good, I think. I don't know if you could hear me while I was saying that, but I was saying stuff. All right, cool, cool, cool. You guys are gonna keep tipping and making me get up and down, which will be great. It'll be a good workout for me. <laughs> Hope you guys like my um, super cozy outfit too. You like it? I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it, buddy. Ugh. Emily, uh, hello, thanks for joining. You gotta get up early, so you gotta go. Okay, well, thanks for joining when you could. Okay, well, let's get hooking. Oh, by the way, I am drinking tea today, which will inevitably be getting way too cold because I'll forget about it. Ah, it's good stuff though. I did uh, English breakfast or, actually it might just be Earl Grey. Just some honey and milk, mm, good stuff. Keep that cozy feeling going. Naughty Flowers, thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Five buckaroos. Now the rule the rule technically is 10 to get to the tree, but I'm gonna start adding pom-poms to the tree for uh, support that's less than $10, so just there's a heads up there. Um, and actually one more thing I wanted to show you about the tip cam. Uh, you can see I added a few things to the bottom there. Those are the things that we've made in live streams. So you can see we've got Iroh, our dwarf on the right, on the bottom shelf at least. And then we've got 
we've got our little kobold, our hummingbird, and our heart from uh, last live stream. I really should be adding my tulip, but I gave it to my mom as a uh, as a birthday gift, so it's not going to be there. And then on the left is uh, someone that supported. Uh, we have a little character there. So if you support, we'll add you to to the bottom shelf. To the bottom shelf, dear. Okay, okay, that's enough chatting, right, Jimbo? What color are we using as the main color? Ooh, it barely won. But I'm actually really glad that it did because I wanted it to be dark purple. Um, we're going to do dark purple for our main color of... For our for our dude. Um, I think we should start, let's start with what they suggest, which is a eight and eight millimeter and see how that goes. And hope that that works out and hope Jimbo doesn't mess with this too much. There you go. It does have a little bit of Jimbo spit on it, but honestly, it's not that bad. I'm gonna pull up the pattern here on my phone or my iPad. You can see I got the chat and then waste less food with a there we go the chat down here and then I got the pattern right there so it's kind of cool. Um, someone said uh, something on the site is broken. I forgot what what it was though already in the very beginning. What was it? I'll, I'll just have to look back at the chat later. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start, by the way, if you are if you are crocheting along with me, I'm crocheting the arms first. We're gonna start there. Yes, Jimbo, that is a giant ball of yarn. I know. I know what you're gonna wanna do. Don't do what you wanna do. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you. Oh, that's what it was. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah, that the lives are on Sundays. Yes, I need to fix that. Um, wow, I'm already messing this up. We gotta do spiked baubles for this pattern. Actually, kind of a lot of spiked baubles, so we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna see how that goes. That chair looks so cozy, I'm jealous. Well, it is pretty cozy. There's another one actually right there. I got a double, I got a double chair situation going. It kind of looks like a great place to have a podcast, Jules. No. <laughs> Jules is my fiance, and we used to do a podcast, and we want to start doing it again. Uh, and yeah, we got a good. I think we got a pretty good set for one, right here. If you, if 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 you ask me, have I played Hollow Knight? Nine, uh, nine spicy Skittles asked if I played Hollow Knight. Heck yeah, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's not my absolute favorite game, but it is up there for sure. I love Hollow Knight. Um, I am so, so excited for Silk Song, but what the heck? They haven't announced anything about it. Like it's been literal years since they announced that. And I don't know why they haven't done, why they haven't uh, at least like announced more information about it. Have I ever cro a crocheted a blanket with chubby yarn? If so, how many? I actually haven't ever crocheted a blanket with this kind of yarn. Um, I have crocheted a blanket once, but it was with like worsted weight yarn. Um, I think it was with like, actually, you know what? It was, it was blanket yarn. It was like slightly chunkier yarn. Hi, Jimbo. Jimbo's just staring at me. Go into your spot so that people can see you. Doofus. Um, it, I actually didn't end up finishing a whole blanket. The, the goal was to make an entire blanket but I actually only ended up making a, uh, like half of a blanket because it just was, it just was taking me too long and I got bored. <laughs> so I was like, whatever, we're making this a small blanket because I don't want to deal with crocheting this a whole bunch more. Two single crochets after that one. This is going to be a freaking big, this is going to be a big uh, uh, dragon compared to what we've normally done because this is the foot already and it's already like half the size of the of the dragon. So, wow, that's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> that's gonna be pretty dope. All right, uh, when is Silk Song? Yeah, I know, right? Silk Song, we need it. Um, okay. Oh, thank, con congratulations, Akari. Akari, 
Akari sold something. Congratulations, I'm glad you did. The first thing is always a big deal. I mean, it's always a big deal still when I sell something. So I totally feel that. But especially in that first time you sell something, it's like, oh, I can do it. I totally get it. We're gonna have to be really careful with this yarn because I do think it's easier to break than my cotton yarn. So I can't pull too hard or we're gonna have to redo certain parts of it. Also, I can't go back. Like, I, well, I think we can just like to a degree, but I can't like rip out a bunch of stitches. So I do have to make sure that I'm not goofing up too bad as I go. And then we got one more single crochet and that first round for our arm is done. There we go. Ooh, that was scary though. I pulled it really, really softly. You can kind of see how we've got like the bottom. There's the three toes. See how I'm cruising there? It's kind of cool. Oh God, <laughs> Naughty Flowers, you did. Oh my God. Okay, let's go add something for the tree for Naughty Flowers. Do you have a preference, Naughty Flowers, for the tree? Oh, you have to go. All right, well, thank you so much for joining. Let's go add something to the tree for Naughty Flowers. Um, thank you for double supporting. I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> Again, I don't know if you can hear me, but let's add a, you know what? Let's add a dragon. Yeah. We're going to add this for you, Naughty Flowers. Golden dragon. I feel like a golden dragon is fair for that double support. Do I prefer metal, plastic, or bamboo hooks? I prefer metal hooks uh, uh, from the three because um, they don't stick as much. Bamboo hooks get like, they snag on the yarn sometimes for me. Um, I also don't like, where would we put that there? Just, don't yell at me. There's no need to yell. Do you wanna come up here? You can come chill. We'll, we'll sit all we'll sit all weird so you can come to your spot. Sometimes he comes and he sits right here and he'll just stay there for literal hours. Yes, you. Come here. I think he just wants to play. Okay, are we gonna be able to crochet with you here though? That's the question. I don't know. We sure are gonna try because we're gonna look at what we have to do in the next round. Do we have to do? Single crochet two, invisible decrease, and then single crochet four. Don't fight, don't fight the yarn. Please don't fight the yarn. Um. Two. Uh, by the way, today's live stream, we're gonna be going till uh, six o'clock my time at least, which is, uh, right now for me, it's like 3.30, so. We got like two and a half hours. So if you're wondering when the stream will end, it'll end around then. I don't want to go too crazy today, but you know, I do want to make, I want to get a little bit of progress. Oh, I think I messed this round up. Single crochet. Ah, uh, yes, I'm, I'm actually supposed to single crochet in each stitch. No invisible decrease. See Jimbo. You make things more difficult, but gosh, you're so cute. He's, I don't know if you can hear him, but he is purring right now a bunch. He's kind of always purring though. Whenever, whenever he's around me, he is obsessed. Yes, you. What? You gonna go to your, to your bed? Are you gonna sneeze? You sound like he's gonna sneeze. He's got a sneezing problem right now where he just really, uh, he's not right now. He's always had a sneezing problem. He sneezes these giant boogers. They're freaking gross, but also it's kind of cute. Yes, I love you too. That's very nice. You're so sweet. Okay. We're gonna be able to crochet while you're doing this and it's totally not gonna be a problem at all. Everything's gonna be great. 
We'll do one stitch and then pet Jimbo. No. Okay, good. No, see, I knew that's what you were doing. Don't bite the yarn. I can't. It's around your leg. You're. Oh my god, you're literally tangled in it already. Stop. <laughs> Stop. That's going up here with me now. No, I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. You're like, where's my, where's my toy? Oh, you're an or. Hello, hello. How are you? Oh, curious snail. Thank you. I'll add something for the uh, to the tree for you in a sec. Um. Oh, that's so nice, Jimbo. You got a tip. You got a tip, buddy. You're you did it. You're paying your way. You know, you've been reliving rent free here for so long and now you're finally making a difference. And I appreciate that about you, bud. He wanders the house like a lion sometimes, just like just like oh, I'm in charge. Uh where do I be? I be in uh, uh Los uh, near Los Angeles. Uh Ventura County is uh, specifically where we're where we're at. We, I used to live in San Francisco uh, till August, and then in August we moved down here in search of a home. Hopefully, we'll see though. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but. Look at that, we got a little, this, this arm is coming together. Kinda hard to see with the background. Maybe I'll do like, I'll hold it here. So you can see what's going on. It's gonna be a chunky dragon though, very cool. Um, a curious snail, thank you so much again for your support. Let me finish this one round here because this is my last. This is round. Uh, I'm finishing up round four right now, and I'm gonna check it off of my my pattern, and that way we know where we left off and we don't get too lost. Right, Jimbo? He's he's staring out the window right now. It's so cute when he does that. Let me. I'll switch the camera for you once I get up too. So you can see what, how cute he is. How cute. Okay, so that'll be the end of that round. See how our foot's coming together. I'm gonna pinch the toes a little bit so they're more toey. You can see there's his arm. Um, let's go put this to the side. We'll get up, add something for Curious Snail, and we're gonna move this camera so that you can see Jimbo. Oh, now he's switching to the bed. I don't know where he was going. Okay, well, we're going back to the bed cam then because eventually you will be there. Right, buddy? Here, let's go and put you there. Maybe we'll just stay. Gotta switch the camera, Jimbo. But we're running low on bonimals. I'm gonna have to go through a bonimal crochet spree soon. Oh. Thank you again for your support. Okay, back to it, Jimbo. This is not a toy. I hate the way you're looking at this right now. He's looking at this like, I could eat that, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I could eat that, he thinks. But you can't. Ooh, Laura needs a drawing prompt. Ooh, what is a good drawing prompt for Laura? They don't want to crochet right now, so they want a drawing prompt. Let's say, draw Jimbo. Draw Jimbo. Yeah, you. Anx anxious pajama days, Emma. <laughs> Hi, Emma, how you doing? Long time no see, how you been? 
All right, I'm on round five of one of the legs. We're taking it slow though, and that's that's okay. Sometimes we need a chill crochet live stream because sometimes it just gets a little too in the weeds. By the way, I was on the Vlogbrothers live stream this weekend raising money for Project for Awesome, and we raised $18,000 in an hour. It was dope. It was way, way cool. Do you want to lay down? Is that your goal here, bud? You just want attention, don't you? Yeah. Hi. Hi. What? I love you too. Okay. Do you want to say hi? She, you're being drawn. Like, like, like one of, one of Laura's French girls. This is fine with me. I don't mind you sitting here, but you gotta still let me do my thing. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Yeah, it was, it was way awesome. It was a good, it was a really fun stream. We crochet one, we pet Jimbo once. Crochet one. Eh, let's crochet two. He's not paying attention. And then we pet him. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were laying on the ball. It's not a toy. Now you see why normally we have to kick him out. Okay. Buddy. We still got to... We still gotta do what we're supposed to do here. We just gotta, we just gotta work around you. All right, looks like I got two rounds of single crochets here. Thank you for subscribing, Stephanie. Okay, this is fine. No biting. No, don't look at that. There's nothing going on over there. It's all over here. Look over here. No, stay looking over here. There's nothing happening behind your head. There you go. Good boy. It's really hard to see where your ads in this pattern. Pretty sure I'm in my second round of single crochets for round seven or something. Check that round off. Yeah, that was round seven. Okay, cool. So I'm on round eight. Yeah, Jimbo wants to know why I have two hands and yarn, but he can't have any of them. It's a good question. It's a good question, Jimbo. He gets this literally like Five hours a day, you get to sit like this. I I spoil you with my lap for sure. Okay, round eight. One, two, and then an invisible decrease. And three. Let me do an invisible decrease, and then I'll pet you. so cute you're so cute you're being such a good boy i'm so proud of you good boy <laughs> he loves ear scratches like this big fan in here just the tip of the ear And then there's three single crochets to get the end of this round. 
And then we have two more rounds of single crochets and we'll be done with one of the arms. For comparison of how big this arm is, the other arms are about that big. So they're about twice the size, maybe three times the size of an arm. Fall asleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Eventually what he usually does here is he'll fall asleep for a second and then I'll wake him up because I'm moving or crocheting or whatever. And then he'll move to his bed. So that's what we're hoping happens today. sure to get exhausting for my arm. This is going to be a simple. Did you hear that, Jimbo? I heard a squirrel. There's squirrels that love to run on our roof. You'll hear them. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear them in the live stream, but every day I hear them and they just like skitter across the roof. It's like, and then they run and they jump off into the trees. It's so cool. It's really, really cool. Okay, this is going to be round, end of round two. Actually, this might be it. We're almost at the end of the round. Two, I think this next stitch is our last stitch. Yeah. Okay, there. And then we need to slip stitch and cut. I think. Yep. Slip stitch one. That. That is a big arm. So cool. We're gonna cut, we're gonna leave enough to sew into the end. Nice. Pull that through. And we have an arm. And we have an arm. There we go. We this is not a toy. This is not not a toy. No, it's not. I know it looks like one. The first toy he ever got was a goblin's ear. I was crocheting, a hobgoblin's ear rather. I was crocheting a giant hobgoblin and I made an ear for it and then he just got obsessed with this ear. And that was his first toy. And it got so fuzzy. He felted it because he played with it so much. It was really cute. Really cute. All right. Let's keep going. Oh wait, let's have a screen clip. Slip a bit. We're gonna turn. And now you can look out the window and be on my lap. Look at that, both things at once. And we gotta try to figure out how this yarn is gonna come into the fruit. It's right under Jimbo. Nope, no, no, stay. Oh, well, there he goes. Oh, he's going into his spot. <laughs> yes. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. There you go. Cat cam is cat cammed. Yes. Okay, now we're cruising. Now we're cruising. All right, let's get back to it. Now we're back to it. Good boy. You're doing great, Jimbo. You're doing great. I lit a candle before we started too. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like candy in here. It smells like cake. Oh, it's really good. 
Jules got it for me for my birthday. And I love it. I've actually almost burnt it all the way down. You can kind of see it actually, right? Um, you can see it right there. Right there. Just a bit. Okay. What was I doing here? Chain two. Uh huh. Yes. That. Hey, by the way, again, if you haven't yet, uh, enter that giveaway. There's only, I think only like 96 people so far have entered the giveaway. We're going to announce the winner at the end of the stream. But all you have to do is comment your favorite flower on a post and then I'm going to give uh, one person from that post at the end of the stream a uh, crochet kit for a crochet tulip so they can give me feedback and stuff. It's like, or, or a gift card if they don't want that. I'll give them a gift card to the Club Crochet store. Spiked bobble number two for the arm is done. It's funny because this just looks like really, as I'm making it, it just looks like a mess of yarn. Like you can't really see what's happening until you're done. Which is kind of cool actually. You could totally make it into a yellow rose, actually. Oletta. How did you post that that goat, Pipery? Hey Clayton. Oh, it's all good, Clayton. I totally get it. Life life comes around. this up and it won't break the yarn it won't break the yarn it won't break the yarn it did not break the yarn did I close it all the way though there we go there we go nice boom God, it looks really cool I'm really excited to see what this looks like when it's finished Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, Boy Meets Drake. Do I think I'll host uh, Project for Awesome again? I think I will, actually. I mean, I will definitely if they ask me to. No question there. It's all just a matter of if they want me to host again. Um, it went really well. I think we... We... Uh, we... Um, raised more money than most of the streams. So like, that was pretty cool. So I don't know. It would be cool if we do get asked to be on again, but if we don't, that's okay too. I totally get it. I'm just a fan of, of what, oh, see, I knew I was gonna do that. I didn't break it too bad though. We still got some left over, so it won't be the end of the world. But I totally knew I was gonna break that yarn. We're gonna crochet around this tail end just to keep it into place so that we don't have to worry about it like accidentally coming apart too bad. God, I knew that was gonna happen though. I was just, just risking it too much. That's okay. Should be fine. Famous last words. Okay. One more round. 
Schneo cult activate. <laughs> Akari's trying to start a uh, a cult in the in the chat. The stream totally is given Christmas vibes. It's because of that this beautiful real fire that's behind me. We're getting we're getting big time cozy vibes right now. Just me, Olivia, we are using blanket yarn. I believe we're using Bernat blanket yarn. Um, there's a few different brands out there, uh, but this one was the cheapest for what I wanted to use it for, and I kind of just wanted to give it a shot, so I went with this one. And they had the colors that I was looking for, because I really, I don't have a purple dragon yet, so I really wanted to try to make a purple one. Yeah, they they definitely. I did I did offer a few of them, H Hannah. So on the P Project for Awesome stream, uh, basically what I did was whenever someone donated, I put out something on camera to uh, as like a thank you for donating. Here's something on camera for you. Um, while I was trying to simultaneously crochet a Triceratops, I did not get very far with the Triceratops, but. We did put a bunch of things out and a lot of people wanted to um, get them for donating. So what I did was after the stream was over, I submitted five of my crocheted things um, to be donated to raise more money. And they put it up for a bunch of money. Like they were like two or $300 each. The one I was crocheting during the live stream, I was making that little Triceratops. That one went for $500 for a donation. So. It's just like, what a cool, what a cool group of people to donate that much money for just awesomeness in general. It's very cool. It was very cool. Two, and then an invisible decrease, and then I single crochet four. One, two, three, All right, now two more rounds of single crochets. That'll be good. All right. Ooh, we will definitely have to name this dragon as well, Emma. Emma said that they have a large dragon that they made. They named their, their dragon Victoria. <laughs> I like that. Like Queen Victoria? Maybe. Ooh, L asks, have I crocheted a jellyfish? I have, I've crocheted a few jellyfish and actually in, um, I have a jellyfish pattern planned for this year. So there should be a jellyfish pattern coming out uh, soon-ish. It's not planned uh, for a few months, but there should be one coming out soon. One, two. I think I'm on the right track here. Five, six. Should actually be the last stitch. One, two, three, seven. Okay. All right, that finishes those two rounds. Hello. Here we go. Oh, Longhorn, Long Longs, Long Longs. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I'm sorry you weren't able to make it for a while, but I'm glad you're back. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great day. Jimbo is chilling hardcore over there. Look at him. He's just a, what a beautiful cat. He's just gorgeous. All right. Oops, I found a typo in this pattern. Come on. 
Yeah, there we go. I stitch. I was having a hard time with one of my invisible decreases here. Three more single crochets. Am I crocheting over pipe cleaners? No, I'm not. Uh, no, but we will be adding a wire on the inside of these arms so that we can pose them into different directions. So that was an invisible decrease. And then we had two, three. All right, we're at the end of that round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, we're doing great. Two more rounds and then we're done with our arms. That's pretty good. Hi, Gwen. Welcome to the chat. All right, I think that was the end of that round. Cool. One more round. Uh, it looks like this eight millimeter crochet, or yeah, this eight millimeter crochet hook uh, is working pretty well for this yarn. I don't think I'd want to go much smaller. But we'll see. Once I put stuffing in it, I don't know. The stuffing might end up showing through, but you know, it's okay. We'll just try not to overstuff it. The real question is, what am I gonna do with this dragon once we're done? Which I do not know. All right, we're gonna slip stitch. Well, I'll probably hide him somewhere in here or give it to my, like a, someone as a Christmas gift at the end of the year. That'd be pretty nice. Give it to my, uh, my nephew. That'd be cool. He's not actually my nephew. He's my like second cousin because he's my cousin's kid, but he really likes I gave him a crochet dragon and he's a big fan of it. Cool. We got our arms. Where's the other arm? Did it fall? Did I drop it? Jimbo is interested. All right, I don't know where the other arm, oh, here it is. There we go. There's our arms. Pretty good. We'll go ahead and put these right here. Okay, what's next? <clears throat> Let's craft with Elena, you just made a kitty a crocheted cat? That's dope. <laughs> Onyx said, make the dragon big and strong. <laughs> He's gonna be real big. He's gonna be, it's probably gonna be like this big, I think. But we'll see. I'm super curious to see how big he actually ends up and then compare it to the other one. Okay, what are we making next? Where is our, now what did I do with my, I got behind me? Oh my God, I could have broken it. Okay. Uh, next we're working on the legs and the legs are actually really easy. Um, they're basically the arms, but just shorter. So yeah, we'll make the legs and that'll be that. Cool. We're gonna get a little, we're gonna get cozy while we do it. Oh my God, that would be so cool, Akiri. Put a squeak, or put a voice box in the head. That'd be dope. You could put a squeaker in him. I definitely have squeakers. I don't really have a voice box that would really work, but I mean, we got a week till we have to finish this, so I might be able to order one. I just don't know how that works. But we can give it a shot. I'll, I'll, I'll noodle it in my brain, I'll think about it. One. Yeah, we probably will have to put a saddle on this dragon. That does seem like something we would do. There we go. Single crochet. And then another 
hotel. Oh, you meant a squeaker. Well, there we go. We got our squeakers, so you know we got them. Hold on, let's tighten this just a bit while we can. Because we know how difficult it is to tighten these afterwards without breaking the yarn. I.e. our last dragon. I mean our last foot. This foot is getting a little bit more squished than the last one. I think I'm getting like, maybe I'm like crocheting a little tighter or more densely, but it might also be because I haven't tightened it pull, you know, like once I finish it, it looks a little different. Clayton, what did you type before? Oh, here we go. It'll be a year before it hits the market. So I have some time for a deposit. Also, my realtor is going to give me a heads up. Dude, Zoe, that's awesome. Zoe said they gave one of the crochet things to someone. Oh, Clayton, Clayton says, house update. You talked to the realtor who helped us get the house and now I'm in and the guy left the house to his nephew because of the paper stuff it'll be a year before it hits the mark. Dude, congratulations, good. I'm so glad that you actually went and did it um, and actually like made moves, Clayton, good job. Um, just for an update for people, Clayton is looking at a house uh, near him to see if he could buy it. Uh, and, and he went the extra mile and reached out and, you know, probably went a little out of your comfort zone to do that. But it, you kind of got to go out of your comfort zone to do things like that, to, to get anything done. You know, I feel like, um, like not ever, like progress for everybody is just outside of your comfort zone. That should be. Someone write that down. <laughs> that sounds really good. That sounds like, welcome to my TED talk. Progress is right outside your comfort zone. Okay. I tightened it about as strong as I can tighten it. Olivia, what have I been up to? You said they, you said that you haven't been able to crochet in like 10 weeks. Oh man, you gotta get back into the, get back on the hook. Um, what have I been up to? I have been planning uh, something pretty big that I'm going to be announcing in um, probably in April. Uh, I've been working on like a pretty, pretty big uh, new project. So I've been putting most of my work into that. Uh, and getting everything ready for March. Um, we got like a few more patterns coming out in March, so I wanted to get some patterns. I wanted to get them made before March is out so that I have time to focus on this other big project that I'm working on. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing pretty much. That's that's pretty much the gist. Uh, a lot of that, a, a lot of Super Smash Brothers. I play a lot of video games and I can't stop and I have a problem and I'm trying to cut down, but also, it's part of my joy and I love it. Um, Jules is going away, unfortunately, for a month to San Francisco. She's gonna be in a show in San Francisco. If you are in San Francisco and looking for a fun time, there's gonna be a show at the end of March. Uh, I will let you, anybody know that's in the area. You should go see it and say hi to Jules. Um, but that's my fiance, by the way. But she's going away for a bit, so I'm gonna have a month uh, to really focus on this big project that I'm working on. And uh, in that month, I know I'm gonna get bored uh, because I won't have my best friend with me. So what I'm probably gonna do, I might start live stream gaming just because I've been wanting to for a long time and I feel like I'm gonna get lonely. So look out for that. That'll probably be on my Louis Loops channel when I end up doing that. But that's what I've been up to. Uh, the show is called, um, oh, 
I'm remembering the old. She was in a show called On a Clear Day, that has like a very similar cast to this. So I, I keep wanting to say this one's On a Clear Day, but it's not that. It's um. It's a Sondheim show. It's like an old Sondheim show. What is it called? It's called um. Man, I should know. I should know. But I don't. I'll. 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 I'll She'll be upstairs in a second. She's gonna go to, uh, she's going shopping so that she can get work clothes because she has to work in the office while she's up in San Francisco for a while. But yeah. So I'll ask her when she comes up. Dope, Cooper. I knew I could count on you to chill with me. Maybe we'll play, we'll, maybe I'll do uh, Mario Kart and we'll play some Mario Kart together. Okay. I'm on round three. There are two different kinds here, so we're gonna start with the right leg. Half double, one. Single crochet, two. Slip stitch, three. one and then we'll slip stitch by the way if you want a crochet kit for everything that you need to crochet um, a, a small version of these um, dragons I do have them available in the shop uh, we have them in the colors green and red and it's a great way to support this channel so if you're looking to get a new crochet kit obviously it comes with all the uh, materials and the tutorial the video tutorial everything like that um, but it's a good way to support this channel if you're looking for another way other than just a tip, but um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Okay, so we've got the right leg done. It feels like the left leg though. But I think I have it written down wrong for now. But we got another leg. And then we get to work on the wings. The wings are gonna be crazy. So that's that's probably gonna take the majority of our time today is for the wings, but we'll see. We might be getting a little further ahead of schedule today than we were expecting, which is absolutely a-okay. Cooper, thank you so much for posting that in the chat. I appreciate that. You're great. Okay, so now we're doing Yeah, I wouldn't verse you in Super Smash Brothers Cooper. I I yeah. I'll just I'll play I'll play Elite Smash on Super Smash Brothers when I do that. Let's do this one more time. Just because it's I'm only good with Yoshi though. That's the only character I'm good with. I've also been playing a lot of Splatoon and I really want to get that new Metroid game. So, there's a lot of gaming to be done. No question there. All right, this is gonna be the last leg, which is great because I'm kind of done doing these spiked bobble stitches today. And I don't think there's any spiked bobbles. There's not in the wings. There could be in the wings though. I could totally do spiked bobble stitches in the wings. But I don't. Um, again, shout out, uh, like this video if you haven't yet. We're trying to get to 250 likes to unlock another giveaway next uh, live stream. So, like this video. Please. I don't know how many it has so far. Wow, we have 77 viewers right now. Very cool. Hey, everybody. Oh, it's got 110 already. We're almost halfway there, so that's cool. Yeah, I do want to try playing. I do want to try playing that Harry Potter game, but it's not even out on the Switch yet, and that's honestly probably the way I'll play it. And obviously, and you know, there was all that 
backlash. I think the backlash is kind of weird though. I don't really know. I, I don't really want to talk about it to be honest, but um, I am I am interested. My brother plays it and he loves the new Harry Potter game. Oh my god. He is obsessed. What is the giveaway? Um, the giveaway... I totally agree with that, Clayton. That is a very good sentiment. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree too because there's one of my favorite books and I don't read it. I haven't read it in a long time, but it's called Ender's Game. It's from uh, the author's name is Orson Scott Card. And he's old, like, I don't even know if he's still alive, but uh, he was not a great, great person, but he made an amazing book. Like that book is so good. And it's just such a bummer sometimes when that happens, you know? But, it, you know, you find out who people are when the more power and the more like, really that's what it is. The more power and recognition a person gets, the more you get to see what their actual, like, who they are on the inside. Like, uh, I don't know. I just noticed that, like, when famous authors or famous, uh, even, like, politicians and stuff like that, the more power they get, the more of who they really are comes out. And sometimes, every now and then, you get a lucky, you get a lucky one where you're like, wow, you're cool. You're a great rich person like I feel like Bill Gates is actually a pretty good rich person but some aren't and I think it's because you have to be like you have a much higher likelihood to become powerful and rich if you are a bad person you know like if you're a good person it's harder to be that I don't know I don't know just a thought I got a lot of them. Okay. Oh, I knew I was gonna do that. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh well, that's okay. It, it didn't fully snap. It just snapped the, the end of it, so we can't use it to tie it together on the inside, but that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, Linda, the SBO stitches, the spiked bobble stitches are tough. They're they're a really, really difficult stitch, no question. But once you start to get them, uh, they are really cool stitches. I really like them. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is a little bit of a um, spoiler. Uh, so, sorry. I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but it kind of is. Um, I've been working on a, uh, a succulent pattern and I came up with an idea for how to do it in my dream last night. I was like, okay, what if I did it like this where I single crochet in the first round and then I work only in the front loops and I literally was dreaming about crochet and how to do this stitch because I've been thinking about it all day, right? And so yesterday I did it and tried it out and it totally worked and I'm really, really excited. I'm just super stoked. <laughs> Onyx, yeah, let's, I mean, that would be cool. I'd love to become rich and famous. That would be dope as hell. And I, but I guarantee you, I give away too much money. <laughs> I'm not good with money. I, I can't do it. <laughs> I just, I do giveaways. I do like, I, I wouldn't just, I just wouldn't keep it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I agree with that. Hannah, I totally agree with that sentiment. It's, but it's really difficult to, to separate the two, you know? But anyhow. Yeah, Clayton, it, it's, it's just like a fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy line. Yeah, I agree. My worst, my worst nightmare isn't becoming famous, but I'll tell you what, it's not not becoming famous. I feel like, I feel like suddenly, I feel like famous people have a very, very low likelihood to be happy. Like their happiness is like super low. Like I cannot imagine, like, I mean, celebrity is one thing, but like, can you imagine, I bet you Elon Musk is not a happy dude. I wouldn't be. 
he he like everybody hates him. <laughs> like <laughs> I just I just can't imagine he's happy. And I'm not saying he should be. I'm just saying like I don't know. I just can't imagine being I don't think money brings happiness, you know? What's the quote? Uh, I think that I think uh, Daniel Tosh has a joke that says money doesn't bring you happiness, but it can buy you a jet ski. <laughs> and you ever seen a sad person on a jet ski? Which is a pretty funny joke. And then a slip stitch. Cool, we got our second leg done. Pretty good. Onyx, thank you so much. I do totally love this. I've had this sweater. I bought it in um, college. I was at Target, just like, I think I was waiting for something for someone to get somewhere. I was in Target and I was like, I wanna get a cardigan, but I'm gonna buy the extra, extra large cardigan. I actually bought three extra large cardigans that day. And uh, highly recommended. Extra large cardigans are the way to go. You feel like you're wearing a blanket, but you're not feeling like you're wearing a Snuggie, you know? Like, I've worn this out. I've gone to, like, parties in this outfit, and I would never do that in a Snuggie, but this feels like it. Just highly suggested. Extra large cardigans. Highly recommended. Okay, other leg is done. Now we're on to the wings, but let's take a tea break. Yeah, I agree with that, Clayton. That's a good good way to look at it. But money definitely did buy me this cardigan. Actually, it was like, honestly, I think when I got it, it was like 20 bucks. I was in college, so it was like a super cheap cardigan. But God, it's so good. It's so cozy. I just love it. I want, I've always wanted Jules to knit me one of these, but she said she doesn't want to do that. And I get that. Yeah, and money can also buy you um, comfort. And it can buy you, like it can make you feel, you know, you don't have to stress as much. Ooh, I just noticed a branch fell down from the tree earlier. The sun's coming out. It looks so nice, but it's probably freezing out there. Okay, let's make a, <clears throat> a wing. Okay, we're gonna start with color A. We're gonna definitely need to read the instructions for this one. Uh, and we're gonna need to get our wire ready. Actually, we might need to, we don't need to do this, but it might be nice to double up the wire. Uh, you know what? We'll do that in a second. I have a screwdriver that we can use for it. We might, we might need to do something. Some, we might need to get the power tools out. Jimbo is happiness. Look at how cute he is right now. Look at, look at that. Oh. Here, just really quick. It's a bit of a mess when I change cameras like this, but look at this. Look at how, oh my God. Oh my God. If that doesn't deserve a like on this video, I honestly don't know what does. Just so cute. Okay. One, I gotta count stitches here. One, two, four, six, seven, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then 
almost need to push it all the way down. But we'll just do one stitch at it. We'll we'll do one round at a time before we like wind up this stuff that I need to wind. <laughs> That's a good point. I'd rather be unhappy and rich than unhappy and poor. True. My dad got me this automatic drill for my birthday. So that's probably what we're gonna use, uh, Zoe, when I do double up the wire. I think you'll like how we do it too. It's, it's a cool technique. I'll teach you something new. I don't know how, yeah, we could probably do it in camera. It might be a little weird though, but we'll make it work. It's gonna be loud. It, well, it won't be that loud. I just don't wanna wake Jimbo up. He sleeps pretty heavy. Okay, almost done with this round. These wings are gonna be big, like really long. It's gonna be super cool. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. This thing is gonna be sick. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> All right. Like, look at that. It's gonna be a long wing. Oh, it's gonna be so dope. <laughs> okay, turn, chain one. And then single crochet. This is the round that I think I could manage to do a uh, spiked bobble stitch in this round to make like spike a spike in the middle of the wing. You know how like sometimes they got like this little spike in the middle of their wing. That's what I could do here. We could also probably do like a mini pico to do that, but we're not going to experiment in this video because we're already using like such big yarn and we don't know how it's really going to look. I don't think experimenting is probably the best idea for this. But. There's gonna be, like, we could put these wings on our cell. Oh my God, that would be so cool, actually. Little dragon wings that you, like, put on a, like, a little backpack. Such a good idea. Have I tried my 3D printer? No, but you know what? I bought all the things for it. Um, uh, I, I went to a friend's house who has a 3D printer, the same 3D printer that I do. Um, and uh, he gave me a bunch of really, really good advice. Uh, and I had to buy some extra stuff on Amazon to make sure, but it just came yesterday. So I'm just about ready to mess with it. Okay, so this will be my last stitch. And now we need to make that wire. But you can see how long this wing's gonna be. So we're gonna put this down and let's make that wire. Um, and let's see, you wanna see something really cool? Check this out. First off, we're gonna turn this around. But check out how cool this is. So this table comes up, it's so cool. I found this on the street. Someone was giving this thing away, isn't that crazy? We got our screwdriver. Look at this. Big boy screwdriver. Thank you, daddy. <laughs> and then we need this. Now we probably could manage with some pipe cleaners, but we're gonna be extra because I want to be. So this is called a vise. Uh, 
I, yeah, I, I just I have a vice. Okay, don't worry about it. But we're gonna go ahead and put it right here on the table. And then we're going to take our wire here and we're gonna stretch this out. It, I don't actually think we need to double this wire up because it's really, really strong, but it'll help us attach it to the body. So it's probably not a bad idea, you know? We'll see though. All right, so we want it to be So the wire needs to be about that long, but we're gonna double it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend it here in the center like that. And then we're gonna stretch it out like this. Like that. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the wire this and we're gonna take this side of the wire um, first I'm gonna pinch it a little bit more see it's kind of like a little open so I'm gonna pinch it down like that and we're gonna put it in the vise to be opened all the way, didn't it? So I'm just gonna put this end in one side. We'll do it over this way, because I have a little bit more room to work with. Well, okay, we'll do it this way, actually. So you can see it on camera. On camera. Now he's pinching the vise. And then we take this end and I open it up and we put it on this end of this, like that. Well, I'm gonna go to the other side. Like this. I'm gonna, let's move this T also. I'm just gonna screw it and it's gonna twist this around. I like to go really slow for this though. Because it can be scary. That should be good. another one of those. It's hot. Hot wire. Check it out. Now we gotta double it up. And it, it's gonna have a shoot load of strength. I almost said a bad word, but I didn't. It's actually a little, it's actually shorter than I want it to be because it uh, shrunk when I, so I need to make it longer. But we have this for later. Uh, we'll need this for the leg or the arm or actually the head or the tail this will be used for probably. So we'll put that to the side. We're gonna make a longer one though. Cause I can always cut it shorter on the bottom. So let's try it again. Yeah, I know, right Emerald T Turtle? You came back and you're like, uh, power tools. Okay, what are we doing? Let's go a little longer. Okay, this should be better. Then I'll bend it like that. Let's try this again. Ah, 
I'm actually gonna get our second one prepped so that they're the same length. So if this is a good size, we know how long to make it. Cause that just seems like a good idea. Thinking ahead. Let's try this again. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that one's a little long. Do it a little shorter than that one. Actually, you know what? I can wind it. No, no, let's do it first. One more time. The comfy jacket needs to come off when we're using power tools, I guess. Time's a charm. I think what we'll do, this is how I'm gonna do it different. I'm gonna keep this long open for the bottom and put that in the vise so that way we can keep it at a certain length and see if that works. So now that side's in the vise instead. And let's screw this on. Yeah, you know, crochet with power tools. Okay, let's see how this one looks. Long. Yeah, that one works. That one's perfect length. Actually, it might be just a little long, but that's okay. Okay. I gotta make one more of these. Just for the other wing while it's all out. We're gonna put that one to the side though. All right. But now we have the wires for the tail and the neck, so that's good. 
that long, turn it like that. Okay. This should be enough. Last try. Or not try. Last time we need to do this, I think. Probably should have included power tools in the beginning. We we're talking about everything you're gonna need, huh? <laughs> All right, what did I miss? Oh, Jimbo is fast asleep. Oh, except for now he's cleaning himself, but that's okay. All right, let's try one of these and keep on hooking on. Don't forget to do the legs. We already did the legs. Oh, oh, you mean the wire for the legs? Oops. I should have, should have, could have, would have. I'm gonna undo some of this. Okay, let's crochet around this to connect the wings. Where's the pattern? Okay, where were we? Where were we? Ah, oh, yes, the, what did he say? Where were we? Ah, oh, yes, the, the swamps of, I don't know, swamps of, Something. I'm, I'm quoting, I'm trying to quote the Princess Bride, but I don't remember it. Oh, Jimbo's done. He heard something in the other room. Probably, he probably heard Phoebe or something. Oh no, he heard Jules. Jules just headed out. Dang, I'm out to ask her about the show. Okay, so turn chain two, one, two, pull tight. And then we're gonna go 22. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I guess it's this one. Feels wrong, but let's do this one. Okay. Boom. Is it a slip stitch? Let me check. One. Ooh, cool. It made a really big point on the end. That's great. We're just gonna do two. Oh, whoops. I actually messed that last one up. In 
that stitch and then in both loops. Slip stitch one. One. There's two. Okay, now we can put the wire in here like this. crochet around it. Is it going to be a little awkward because there's like pointy ends on this wire that I'm like trying to avoid, but it could, it should still work fine. One. Two. Seems like it's working. A Car Kari said they made a cupcake, but it looks like a squished cookie. What is a cupcake if not an inflated cookie? gonna cut my arm if I'm not careful. But it's totally working. Like we're, we're working around it. I'm just like a little worried about the length of it, but that's another thing to worry about. Just don't push it too far or it'll stick out. Song. It's very chill. I kind of like all the music that we've been playing though. Oh my god, I have been obsessed with this song. Uh, it's Jap It's in Japanese, so I have no idea what the name of the song is or what the lyrics are, but I've been obsessed with this song. That's, that's all you need to know. Oh, you hear a Jimbo sneeze? It's very cute. What's up, buddy? You gonna lay down? Maybe? He's thinking about it. It's kind of twirling, which I don't really love, but it's it's totally working. You know, we're we're working around it. Sneezing is not normal. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> that was a part of the, so that's a, a Hank and John Green like inside joke and they were spamming it during the, during the project for awesome. And I was like, sneezing isn't normal. What are you guys talking about? It was funny. Hi Jimbo. Are you going up there? Okay. This is Jimbo's live stream. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, you can be here. I don't mind. You just need to lay down. Lay down. Yeah, you. Okay, that's my bladder. Okay. Let me get comfy. Let me get real comfy. Don't bite me. Okay. Hi. You're so sweet. What a good boy. Okay. Jimbo's like, we're not crocheting anymore. Sorry, live stream's over. I just want to hang out. We can do 
both. All right, bud. You can do both. I know what this is. You're being really nice, but you're just gonna bite me. Are you? You're, you're trying to nibble. <laughs> Hi. What a love bug. All the time. fall asleep here oh my god shut up dude what too cute you're too much I do think I'm doing this a little too long not not bad The wire is a little longer than we want it to be, but we can unwind it a little bit, right, bud? Can we? Maybe. Maybe not with a cat on us. Good though. Now we need the, here's the problem. We got Jimbo on us, and he's so sweet and cute, and I love him. But we need that yarn, that yarn right there. We need that, and it's so far away. How am I gonna do this? Maybe we'll not have to get that yarn because you're on us, and we'll skip changing colors here, and we'll cut the yarn, and we'll get the other wing started. So that we could do it with Jimbo still on us. You like that idea? Good. I'm glad because me too. We're sinking into this little couch though. I can feel us getting deeper and deeper. Up, 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 up. We're not biting the yarn. Oh, buddy. Oh. I fell asleep like this last night. Really not good for my back. I was like. <laughs> you can hear the purr? Yeah, he's, he's definitely purring. Okay. We're gonna do another, we're gonna start another wing with you on us. Everything is gonna go great. stitches were we supposed to do? <laughs> Pattern. 
pretty comfy crochet chair. I would say on a scale from one to 10, it is a seven. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Watch, okay, I don't know if you're gonna be here this, but I'm definitely gonna be able to crack my back right now, ready? Oh, so good. You comfy? Keep going. Sometimes he'll do this. See, he's cleaning himself right now. Sometimes he decides that the best time to clean his butt is right now. And he's right on top of me like this. It's so cute. It's not disgusting at all. There you go. Just needed to unwind the yarn. Have to go anywhere. Two. Hi. Hi, Jason. Are we all just waving? Are you watching? Oh my god. He's so cute. It's a big cloud. Cloud of fur. Oh, naughty stitch. You finished the chicken pattern? Cool. Okay, buddy, I have this round and then one more round and then I'm gonna have to kick you off me because I can't do the next part with you on me. I'm so sorry. But you got like two more minutes. What time is it by the way? Okay, cool. We still got like an hour left of of the stream. We should have pulled the yarn from the center of the ball. That would have made things a lot easier. fair. Hopefully that does not come back to bite us in the butt. Count your stitches, oops. Four, five, six, eight, 20, okay good, we're on, we're 
Boom. 21. Last div right here. 22. I'll chain two. Height. And. Started. Hi. Oh, thank you. There. Don't bite me. Now is the point where we're stuck. We're stuck. We did as much as we can with you on me. Let's just talk to the chat for a sec. Hi, chat. The chin is the chin do be tasty. What is the progress on the dragon? The progress so far is we finished the legs and the arms, and we're about we're almost done with both the wings actually. I would say we're about halfway done with, with the wings. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Denise. Yeah, we're 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 cruising. I mean the goal for tonight is just to finish the wings, really. Uh so we're actually on I think we're doing great. We're on we're on progress. We are doing a okay. And we can swivel around, which is fun. Can we go all the way around? We sure can. Cool. That was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, buddy. Oh, wow. You're loving it. You're loving it. I'm gonna have a sip of tea, and then we gotta move you to the cap, or to the to the throne. We call this, where is it? This right there. We call that the Jimbo Throne. It used to be called the Gamer Throne because I got it from my friend Nicole, and they used it, and they called it the Gamer Throne. Oh, my tea's all the way over there. I can't reach it, though. Uh, but they, um, it's where Jimbo sleeps every day, so now we call it the Jimbo Throne. Let's see, what else is the chat saying? Since you're talking with the chat, you should look at the conifer pattern I made. I'd love your opinion on it. Where, where would that be, Nine Spicy? Nine Spicy Skittles, where can I find that? On maybe on Discord? Where'd you put it? Yeah, let's throw our cat in this in this raging actual definitely real fire. <laughs> Are you gonna make a video for the people who weren't on the live so they can see how to make it too? Drake, uh, this is a crochet pack. Good boy. Good boy. We're free. Uh, this crochet pattern is actually available. It's at, uh, right here. Right there. Clubcrochet.com slash dragon. Uh, I do a video tutorial. It's a full length video tutorial that'll teach you how to make it. It's in the Discord. Cool. Yeah, let me look. Let's see it. Uh oh. My battery's... Oh shoot, we're running out of battery. I am plugged into the charger, but I think we're using more battery than the charger can provide. So we're gonna need to figure something out here. We might need to switch off the cam. The I have an idea. Let me see if I can do this. Oops. I don't know if this is gonna work, but ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna hope and pray that that charges it faster than it, the battery is being used. And we're going to fix the webcam. There we go. Cool. All right. Ugh, we gotta keep a lookout for this battery though because we are really running low on battery. We'll see. Okay, let's move to the next part, which is gonna be making the actual wing part of the wings. Oops, wrong part. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing. I think I need to switch this song. I think I got in trouble for this song last live stream. Okay. Um, I did make this wing kind of strange. I, I feel like I did it not right, but it worked. Okay, give me this crochet hook. Go under there. We'll pull a loop through with our new color and open the Discord and keep a look on the battery. There's that. All right, look what I made. Let's see here. We're looking for Let's see how this goes off. Oh wow, is that No, that's a tulip. Where'd you put it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Did you design that nine spicy Skittles? Dude, that is dope. That is so cool. You made the guy from Ho Hollow Knight that, that gives the maps. Wow, that's super dope. How long did that take you? Did you use a pattern? Oh, tell me everything, dude. That is so cool. That's so cool. Okay, what percent battery? We have 5% battery, uh, but it should be like, it should be holding tight because we are plugged into the battery. It's just, I think we were using more because I was using like a, an extender thing. If you wanna see, go check out the um, the Discord channel. You can find the link in the description or at clubcrochet.com slash Discord and go into the uh, section called Look What I Made. That's where you can see it. Um, okay, let's keep going. It's very cool though. Ooh, that's a good question, Cosmo. Hmm, let me think for a second. Working into six. Go one. Go two. three and then two half double crochets okay um what okay so cosmo asks uh if i had to evacuate the house and could only take one crocheted wait let me let me read that again and i could only save one crocheted thing what would i take i'd probably take the i'd probably take either my woggles or Jack Gurgle. Because Jack is so big and I wouldn't know how to remake him. The rest of them I have patterns for. It's a pattern that you're making, Nine Spicy Skittles. Took you around 10 hours to make and design. Sadly, I have zero art skills, so I just had to use a reference sheet. Oh, dude, no, you have a lot of art skills. That is very good. Very, very good job. Highly, uh, yeah, you should that you should sell that pattern for sure. You should sell that pattern for like five bucks, at least. It's a very, it looks good. It looks really, really good. Um, okay, double crochet. Yeah, I honestly don't have much feedback on it. Let me look, let me look at it again and see if I can give you any feedback. Let me zoom it in. 
Man, it's good. Like, it's really good. I mean, I have got the, the, the smallest amount of, of feedback, and that is that the, the scroll should have something written on it. But like, that is just, you don't, I, you absolutely don't need to do that. That's just like me being nitpicky to help you out and give you feedback. triple crochets at the same time now for these triple crochets I'm gonna try to do something so that the stitches aren't so like opened up so let's see if we can't figure out how to do that right So instead of doing regular triple crochets, by the way, I'm doing like a, I don't know what to call this. I, it, it's called something and, and someone at an event told me what this is called, but I don't know what it is. It's basically like, a, I think they call it like a crochet reconnect or something like that. You're basically working your triple crochet stitch into the other triple crochet stitch so that it holds the triple crochets together a little bit more. And so that there's not like open, like see, you can kind of see how this one has like a bit of an opening, but the other ones here don't. Yeah, we're, we're experimenting. See you later, Cosmo. See you next week. Uh, same time, same place. We're gonna be uh, continuing our dragon next uh, next Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The I think it's the 2nd of March. Oh my gosh, can you believe, can you believe that March is already almost here? Crazy, dude. Feels like it's still September. Three. At least it does to me. One. This one wrong, but whatever. One, two, three. I want seven of these. One, two, three, four. Everything's coming together. Uh, yeah, Akari, you should uh, tell the police. One, two, three, four. That's my opinion there. Let's keep going. Or tell your friend to tell the police. Or tell the police to tell your friend. One, two, and three is going to be here. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two more. Jimbo's back in his spot. Look at how cute he is. Okay, 
I'm so glad uh, he's he's doing great. You know, we didn't rehearse this or anything, and he's just being a good boy. How did I mess this up? I can't find where the stitches. Okay, that wing's coming together. Next, we do a double crochet one. Let's just do it with our connection thing. It looks really far away though. Three single crochet two together, so okay, one. Two, one, two, Oof. three, and then a slip stitch. Boom. Okay. That's looking good. Next we turn, skip the slip stitch, don't chain, we just single crochet. One, half double crochet here, two, double crochet one, one, two. It's kind of so cool. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but like, ding, this pattern is cool. One, two, one, two, three. Specifically for the wings. I remember when I was designing it, I was like, dang, these wings are awesome. And they really are. Okay, mini pico. Really do be like that. I think that was maybe the last song in our playlist. We need to hit play again. Or maybe not actually. Sounds like we got something coming. We'll go with this stitch. <laughs> Sound like the character from Spirited Away. Crafty Kittens, I'm using a blanket weight yarn. I believe it's Bernat's blanket weight yarn, but no promises there. I would, just, but I'd kind of be surprised if that wasn't the brand. I didn't really look, I just kind of bought it. And I, and I threw away the tags. Stitches, stitches fighting me. Stabbing myself. Get your. There you go. I don't know what your problem was, Stitch. It was like, I don't want to be crocheted. One. Question is is the second wing going to fight us as much as this wing does? It might. 
And a triple crochet. Okay, we're almost done. One, two, three, and then a double. crochets and a slip stitch. One, two, and a slip to finish it up. Bend it. A little tiny. That's okay. Alright, put the yarn using our scissors which are here. This is gonna thread into this needle, but we're gonna try. It does. Pretty surprising. Okay, cool. And then we'll go around this next stitch. This stitch. Hide the end into our wing. Let's go ahead and we'll bend this slightly. Gosh, this is a super strong wire though. So we can't bend it. I mean like we can bend it, but like it's hard to bend is what I'm trying to say. Like that, like that, and it over. Pretty good. Does it look like I have a little dragon wing? I do wish it was like a little longer it's like a little short, but that's okay. If you know what help, let's bend this part down. That'll help. Yeah. But not too bad. Dragon wing ears. Cool. We're going to make another one of these. We've already started it. We just need to get the wire in it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more stitch here. And then we'll put our wire in. And do that tricky part. This one's definitely too long of a wire. So we're gonna need to unwind the bottom of it like four winds, which we can do. I'm just gonna have to use both my pliers now. Are plants in the background crochet? Yes, they are. Yep. Hold on, I'll show you them a little up a little closer. One sec. We're gonna try doing it like this. Hey, it's working. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, 
That should be better. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Uh, let me crochet around this and then I'll show you the plants in the background. Oh, we got this here. We want darn needle here. Okay. I know he's so cute sleeping. Sometimes this yarn is like really hard to work with, but other times it's like really easy to work with. It's very strange in that way. It like picks and chooses which stitches it likes. And I'll tell you what it doesn't like. I don't think it likes slip stitches. At least it doesn't like the way that I make them. coming together I got um, Akira I have got another I promised uh, till so I, I got until we finished this and then actually we'll make the lip and the teeth also so everything that needs to be sewn onto the piece we'll make today and then we'll make the body next week so I still got a little bit longer You know, long live streams. Hey, if you like long live streams, then like this video. What a novel idea. There we go. There we go. And then this one right here. Over to there. I'm gonna do this one right here. And hey, giveaway still going on. We're gonna be announcing the winner for that giveaway at the end of this stream. By the way, so enter. Uh, I believe it's still pinned to the chat. So if you go into the chat, you can check it there. Why don't dragons have pouches like kangaroo to fly around their babies? That's a super good question. Milton said... Like to me? Oh, maybe you're not talking to me. Never mind. I used to love the Tunisian crochet. I used to use it all the time. I made beanies with it. Uh, I made iPhone cases with it. Um, obviously, I still think it's a cool stitch. I just don't use it very often anymore. But maybe I'd like to get in back into that. Oh, how are we doing on battery? Oh, it's, it's going up. It's going up. We're good learned though it was the connector that I was using was not powering as fast as it was using the battery Almost done with these slip stitches that are just angry slip stitches. Angry slip stitches in all the realm. You know, we'll probably put this purple dragon like in the background here. Hold on. 
Oh boy, there we go. This might actually be the last stitch, let's see. No, it can't be. Couldn't be, then who? There we go, last slip stitch. For the first part at least. Long cut for sewn on and pulling it or a chaining one and pulling through. Text message, who texted me? Sorry about that. I hope that wasn't too loud on your end. Someone texted. There we go. Yeah, these ends are definitely gonna have to get cut when we stuff it into the body. But it's working. The wire idea, at least, is working. Okay. First question. Who tested me? Oh, Nicole. You're welcome, Nicole. Um, okay. Random question. But does anybody know a good but real flexible polymer clay? I do not, unfortunately. I don't know much about polymer clays. But if anybody in the chat is out there and knows the answer to that, Onyx uh, is looking for some flexible polymer clays. Crafty Kittens thinks that Sculpey, oh no, they use Sculpey. I've used Sculpey too. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Other color. Oh boy. I gotta go to the bathroom soon. But we can get to the end of this first. we do the crazy part of crocheting the wing without stabbing ourselves with these pointy ends that are pointed right at our body. Now double. Two half doubles. And then our double crochet. Oops, that was supposed to be double crochet. Getting dark. Sun's getting real low, buddy. One, two, three. And then a mini pico. Right, I remembered. This time I remembered. Stitch here. Okay, now this tricky part of doing the triple crochets. Let's try doing it through a different part of the triple crochet this time. To make our life a little easier. I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to notice the difference, but we'll find out. One, two, and three. Can you tell? Nah, looks good. Okay. It's a lot easier to do, too. One. Two. Coming together a little bit. <laughs> Hello, Gift Factory. How are you? Hope you're having a great day.
two, three. Look at that, going quicker than ever. It's one, two, three, four. Six, one more. Three. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Double crochet one. Oh, let's use the thing. Three single crochet shoes together. Okay, one, two, boom. One, there's two, one more. pretty good yeah I'll, I'll be careful onyx you're right though these are big wings big wings they're really cool this makes me want to crochet like cosplay or something I can't wait to see what the body of this dragon looks like ends up being like next week though next week one and then a triple that we're gonna connect one whoo I almost just hit my face really bad with these pointy ends. It's okay, worst case scenario, it gets just under my glasses, hits me in the eye, I go blind in one eye. Worst case, that's worst case. <laughs> I do that to Jules all the time. I'll say like, we'll, she'll, she'll say like, no, don't do this thing. And I'll be like, out and I'll say like, worst case scenario. And then I'll say the actual worst case thing that could possibly happen. And it's terrible. And uh, she doesn't think it's as funny as I do. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty funny. Probably the fact that she doesn't think it's funny is what I think is so funny though. That was a half double and then two single crochets. One. Two, and then slip stitch one. I could bend them away, but you know what? We're almost done anyhow. But thank you for the oh, suggestion, Cooper. That it's not a bad idea. We're just almost done. And sometimes I like to live dangerously, you know?
All right, second wing is basically finished. We're just gonna bend it a little bit, like Beckham. And hide this end in. Like that. Oh, we need to cut it. And then, yeah. And then we'll bend this in. Bend here, maybe. And there's our dragon wing number two done. Make it go this way, though. One here, Whoa, and we got one here. Oh, this one's bent backwards. There we go. Here. Ha. <sighs> Cute. Okay. Last things that I want to make today before we call the stream is we want to do the teeth and the lip way easier. They're going to take us like five seconds each. And then we'll be done for the stream and we'll choose a winner for the giveaway. So you have maybe three, four minutes to uh, enter that giveaway. So if you want to win, click that button and uh, enter the giveaways and we'll choose a winner in a sec. First, I'm going to do the lip because I have this yarn here and I might as well. It's only need to, I only need to chain 14 for the lip, so that's pretty easy. You said not to fly away. <laughs> speaking from experience, Onyx is speaking from experience. Dragon wings are a lot tougher to eat than chicken wings. Very tough meat from experience. You know, he knows. One, two, three, four, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, cool. Cut the yarn and pull through. The lip is done. Now you just got two teeth. Two teeth. Using this white yarn. Teeth are easy. I've made so many of these teeth in my time, it's crazy. Crazy. One, two, three. Pull tight. Back loop of the first one made. Gosh, this yarn is fuzzy. Right here. Come on, I know it's right there. I know, I can feel it. Oh. There and there. It's pretty good. And then chain one, cut, pull through. There's one tooth. So tiny. It looks so tiny, actually. One more. Hello, Eli. Ooh, Louie, how did you get so many subscribers? What's your secret? That's what Evan asks. Uh, I kept going. I didn't stop. And it took me, the secret is uh, try creating a YouTube channel for 10 years. It's a good, that's a good secret. And keep making stuff the whole time. That's my secret. Oh, and then uh, make sure you do it during a global pandemic. That helps a lot too. <laughs> try. Try really hard. Oh, let's try that tooth again. Speaking of trying hard. One, two, three. And 
I kind of always just like was like, you know what? I'm all, I'm gonna do this YouTube channel regardless of if I can. But this can be my only job or not, so I'm just gonna keep doing it until it is. Um, and then it worked eventually. Okay, we got teeth, tooth number two. All right, so here's what we made today, you guys. We're gonna finish this dragon next week, but for reference of what we finished today, we've got two of these. Okay, two arms, two arms. I'll go ahead and wrap them up like this so that Jimbo doesn't play with them. We got two back legs. Pretty good. Let's wind that one up too. We got our two little teeth that we just made. We got, of course, our two gigantinormous dragon wings. Big guys, which are really cool. Love these. Um, I can't put this over here, so I'm gonna put that over here. And then lastly, we have our lip that we're gonna sew onto the face tomorrow or next week. So if you want to join again, we'll be live again next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure to like and subscribe and push notifications uh, or join our email list by creating an account on clubcrochet.com. Uh, you can get the pattern at clubcrochet.com slash dragon. Uh, special shout out to everybody that has supported the live stream and join the chat and all that fun stuff. Thank you and now, Let's choose some winners. Okay, so we're choosing winners for our cat or our tulip giveaway. Let's refresh these pages. I think the way I'm gonna do it is I'm going to choose a uh, random comment. We have 120 comments. So I'm gonna do a random number generator and just choose the random comment from that and count our way down. So 120. Okay. All right, so now we got to count here. One, two, there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. <gasps> what? Oh my God. I love, I love that that person won. Okay. Okay. And the winner of the first half of the giveaway, because remember there's two halves. We're doing one on, uh, on our YouTube channel and then the other one on the Instagram post. So the one on the YouTube channel, so remember, I asked the question, what is your favorite flower? That's all you had to do was you had to comment your favorite flower. The winner is Jazzy4548. I don't know if you're in the chat right now. I'm going to reply to this comment right now. But what I think is so great is that their favorite flower was Snapdragons which are also my favorite flower. That's my favorite flower of all times. I love snapdragons because you can pinch the corners and they make a little puppet. And how cool is that? The person that won's favorite flower is a snapdragon and we're crocheting a dragon. It's like the fates chose comment number 52. I'm gonna comment right now. That's my favorite flower too. Please email me at. Cool. Congratulations, Jazzy4548. I don't think you're in the chat right now, but you won the first half of this giveaway. Now let's do this again on Instagram. Okay, and the winner on Instagram, there's a lot less comments to work with, so that's good. 
And we generate a comment. Oh, wow. Near the end. Okay. Can I see all the comments, please? Yeah, I did I wait. Yeah, okay. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, almost there. Three, oh my gosh, so close. All right. And the winner of the Instagram side of this giveaway is Biscuit Cum Estambre. I, I think I said that right. Um, congratulations. Both, per, both people, both winners won a crochet kit for a crochet tulip. Um, that I'm going to send them or a gift card to the shop if you would rather have a gift card. Um, but congratulations to both our winners. Uh, you now. Congrats. All right. And let's go ahead and message this person and just get it going now cool all right guys I'll finish that up later congratulations to my uh, to the winners of this giveaway um oh my god you're the winner congratulations congratulations I'm emailing or I'm messaging you right now this biscuit eats yarn I love that Wow, I'm so glad you're here. That's so cool. Congratulations. Uh, and yeah, I'll be messaging right now. Unless you want to email me. Actually, you know what? That's probably easier. Email me at louis at clubcrochet.com would be easier. But I'll message you all this information as well. Congratulations. Um, again, if this video gets 250 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream. Uh, I don't know how many likes we have so far. Let's look real quick. Last I looked, it was 110, I think. Uh, we're looking for 250 and we're at 150. Okay, cool. That's possible. So if this video gets another 100 likes between now and next week, we'll be good to go. Um, all right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And seriously, thank you so, so much for joining. One last look at this adorable cat really quick. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Wow, just adorable. Okay. Bye. Oh my gosh, no, you hang up. Oh my gosh, Jimbo, you hang up first. Oh, he just got into a cozier position here, look. Oh, so cute. Oh, that's right, the plants in the background. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I can show you the onyx real quick, real quick. I will show you the plants in the background. This is for you, onyx, because I promised I would. So right here, we have a bonsai tree, which you've seen the bonsai before, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then this is our, uh, well, here, I'll show you. I think we might have made this on the live stream actually. It's a Audrey 2 planter and then like it opens up. I don't have anything in it. I should put stuff in it, but I don't. And then the other stuff here are uh, some crocheted cacti that I'm working on a pattern for. So I'm trying a bunch of different ways to make crocheted cactus. Okay, that's all. All right, bye.